all in. You know, it's all about <laughs> elevating the industry. So we bring people that you have heard of, but maybe some people haven't. Today I'll be hanging out with a duo called Deja. I think it's Deja Vu. Oh, got it. It should be Deja Vu that we're hearing. Yeah. Well, we got a song, Deja Vu, but it's Deja. Hey, yeah. Oh, welcome to the B Talks, guys. Appreciate it. What's thank happening? You, thank you, thank you. Chilled, mm-hmm. chilling, chilling. Happy to be here. How you feeling? Yeah. Oh, feeling great. And feeling do you great. guys Ready watch for the it. show? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Lies. We do. No, actually, actually, Which episodes don't. have you seen? Uh, Dilly Twin. So I think that was my recent one. I actually oh. saw the one you yeah. did with TFP. The accident, the range for him. Uh, oh. So now you know I watch. Did this guy pay for your time? No. No, 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 no. On our own phones. <laughs> er, like, yeah. way back when. Uh, way back when. Are you guys friends or it just happened that we do music together? Nah. We, I don't know. Nah. Uh, <laughs> nah, like, I haven't introduced him to you as my friend, so. <laughs> 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 no, but on the real, we're, we're friends. We're friends. friends. He's a brother. Yeah. How long have you guys been friends for? From 2014. Yeah, 2014. Ah, yeah. 2014. Yeah. How was life before meeting this guy? Well, <laughs> all the same. Good question. <laughs> no, yeah, all the same. Like, what do you mean all the same? It was okay. It was, <laughs> it was okay. It was, were you still doing your music? Yeah, I was still doing music because I started doing music way back in 2007. Mm. Yeah. Okay, nice. So let me give a proper intro. Yeah? This is um, offbeat tray. Yeah. Is this why you're always offbeat? I'm joking. Oh, that? <laughs> oh no, that's true, though. That's true. That's true. Nah, he's never. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's me. That's me. Yeah, yeah, the rapper in the group. Of course. Mm. I like to say the artist. I mean, uh, rapper nice. just confines you to that, to just rapping, but. Artist is better. I love that. Yeah. So, did you yeah. start with the singing before you go to the rapping? Rapping. I started with the rapping first. <laughs> so now you can sing. Yes. <laughs> yes, Edna. Yes. Okay. I can sing. Then on my left is <laughs> that boy Gordon. Yep. Why? Why yes. Gordon? Is it because? I actually struggle with my skin. I've got a very, very sensitive skin. But oh. yeah, Gordon is actually my real name. Oh. So the boy is just. I like the golden, so that it does, doesn't just sound mm. golden. Yeah. Oh, nice. I mean, like, I've been seeing your posters. Yeah. Where I, I remember you had something going on at Brides. Yeah. yeah. Even yeah. before that, I think uh, my friend's statuses, people have been sharing you guys. Mm. Um, so the first time I saw you on stage was at the Fireboy event. Oh, the actual recent one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was my first time. That was a big time. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Why do you say so? Well, it was, uh, it was my first time performing on a big platform for a big artist mm. like Fireboy. So definitely a big moment for me. Yeah, was it the same? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that was like, I, I don't know, but I've, I've, I've actually been doing shows for, for some time now. Mm. It's just that now I'm actually doing it with, with my brother. So mm. I performed at the Joe Boy concert that was in Mulungushi. Mm. Yeah. Then way back in uni, I would open for artists like Davido, Ice mm. Prince. Um, there's a guy called Takura from Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I would I would do that. Mm. So why why did you decide to say you know what I think I let me get off the solo journey. Yeah. Let me do it <coughs> off the big tray. So the tray, sorry. this is how it all started, yeah. So back in uni, we were friends, and I was doing music, and I once heard him do something. So I was like, oh, we should collaborate, you know, we should mm. do something together. And it's like, nah, I'm not on that path yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not on that path yet. So Still the, the I let it be. Artist. So after graduation, first of all, we came to Zambia and FJ signed me. I was under Nexus. Mm-hmm. So FJ sends me a bit with a hook. He's like, oh, I need you to lace up mm. verses on this one. Like, yeah. literally, I'm giving you this song. So I listened to it. I'm like, okay, cool. So I go to the studio. And I had a discussion with FJ. So on my way back home, I mm. link up this guy and I'm like, oh, you know, by the way, I'm working on a song. Are mm. you still off the charts? You still mm. don't want to do music? And he's like, I think I'm interested. This is yeah, like, let's so do it. Let's do it. I told him, write something. So he wrote something. He was actually quick with it. So I get home like an hour or two, yeah? Mm. Yeah, two, two hours later. Yeah, two hours. He yeah. said, no, the no, VN. no. He said, send a VN. No, no, you sent the, the lyrics. Oh, the lyrics. Then I told you, can you send a VN? Yeah. So he sends a VN. I'm like, no, nah, you need to listen. 
Mm. So we did a song called I Need You. That was our first project together. Mm. So it was The Boy Gordon featuring Offbeat Train, FJ. Mm. So the response we got was overwhelming. Mm. It was good. Like So I told him, like, yo, I think we can do this together. And so, when was that? Uh, 2019? 2019. Mm. Yeah, that was 2019. I think around... Remember so that's when you officially became Deja Twenty Nine. No, no. When when did you officially say? Can, was it late last year or early this year? Oh. No, late last year actually. Late last year. What led to this um, this this decision? So I just felt like he complimented the kind of music I was doing. In parts that I would lack, he would fill it up. So, um, well, he does a different style to mine. So I'm mm. more of the R and B dancehall guy. Mm. I do rap but mm. I, I don't feel it like that. Oh, <laughs> I don't right. feel it like that. Whereas he's he's a J. Cole Kendrick Lamar type. Mm. When he writes his stuff, he would need to explain it to me to say, I mean <laughs> this on this part. Oh you get what I mean? Okay. Whereas for me if I'm I'm saying I'm going to the market, it's I'm going to the market. Uh. So And how do I say I'm going to the market? Well I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably speaking tongues. <laughs> I get you. I feel you. I feel you. Except for what? You know, you know, it's that thing where he spits something and I'm like, hmm? <laughs> then he's like, listen. <laughs> so this is this what is this, this, is this means. I'm like, okay. okay, that's dope. Mm. That's mad. Then it makes more sense and you're just like, mm. wow. Like, Why yeah. do you find it necessary for, for you to write music like that? <sighs> Like he said, uh, he says he's going to the market. I find that phrase just too plain. Okay. <laughs> so I'd rather say I turned left, I turned right, mm. and then I finally went to the market. So exactly, exactly. So just the uh, like he said, we, I feel like we complement each other. So even for, um, I guess the delay in Deja, he was already out there. I was more of bedroom, like bedroom artist. You know, record your music just. Keep your music, you know. Don't don't uh, expose it. Maybe have a few friends listen to it here and there. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I had to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, I had to bring it back. Man. Actually, yeah. the first time I, he- I I heard him rap, he sounded more of a tongue twister to me. Mm. And you know, back then, like I was like, how does this guy do it? Mm. You know, he's he's quick. Mm. Like he can. Damn, I don't know, but yeah. You know what, I'm just caught up at the moment. I'm sure people are like, what, what are you guys talking about? Just <laughs> listen to that, man. The boy is good. Uh, do something for us. Like, I need to do something. I, I, to them was so like, oh, we get the picture. Of idea. <laughs> I don't turn to this. He's lying. Okay, whatever it is that you can do. So people can just have a picture of, you know. Uh, okay, well, considering our recent project, mm-hmm. yeah, it's not tongue twisting, but it's something I wrote. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, it goes like, you the only one my eyes on, only cool that I want my eyes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you come with that your man just so you know I'm living with my bride home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing out there for me. Life seemed unfair to me. Soon as you came, you changed the game for me. You stayed the same with me and I ain't used to that. That's, that's a demo for you. Oh, no, he, com- way. he compliments oh, that. He compliments the verse. So, yeah, you get to hear it. It's, it's our new project. So, oh, yeah. you, you get it. You get it. You get Speaking it. Speaking about projects, you say you guys um, officially made the group Deja early this year? Yes. Something like that. Yeah. So yes. Early this year, and you've already given us an EP with six songs. Yeah. Yes. How, How generous. How- yeah, like, <laughs> you people it's like you work, you work, you had within a year EP already. You had a, is it a successful EP launch. Yeah, we well, yeah. would actually say it was successful. Very, mm. very like it did numbers more than we actually expected. True. Mm. So like that EP took us out of our comfort zones. Mm. So we, we spent a lot of sleepless nights <laughs> on that mm. EP. It was fun. So you know, with producers, you you can't just pop up. Mm. True. You know. So we're working with Magician. Magician literally just wanted to like produce our whole EP. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we, we were excited. We just said, you know what? Let's do this. Mm-hmm. So it's either Magician will send a beat or he asks us to like f- explore ideas. Mm. So Magician being Magician, he would call us and be like, yo, 
come at 19. 19, you go, you find power <laughs> cards. Mm. Then you have to wait. Wow. So that was back fun. then, I think it was what? Two, four hours of shading? Yeah. Last year. Two to five. Yeah, so imagine you've gone to the studio, let's say around 17. Mm. He tells you, you know, you guys, you can go and come back. Now you're thinking of gas. Yeah. So mm. like, nah, we'll just we'll wait. And chat. Yeah. So four hours later, power comes. And then you do the setup. And by the time you're finishing recording, it's already like two, three, mm -hmm. and you're tired. So it took us like, I think a good two months to record the whole EP. Two months. Yeah, to record the whole EP. And what took us long was the mixing and mastering. Because my brother here is a perfectionist. Mm. So he will listen to something like, uh-uh, <clears throat> I wrote something else. No, 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 I've changed my bass. And I'm, just, <laughs> and I'm just I'm just watching, I'm just like, okay, do your thing. Let's yeah. switch it up. Let's switch it up. So yeah. Like I remember when we we're actually mixing and mastering it. Mm -hmm. Him he wants to listen to the final product. So he would pass out in the studio. <laughs> okay? So we're mixing, mastering me and magician are like, yeah, we're good to go. He wakes up and says, Ah, uh, can we change this part? Wow. Imagine yeah, that. As an artist, <laughs> you need to be fine with your piece of art. Mm. I wasn't. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah, until the journey was actually concluded and we released it. Mm. And the response was actually overwhelming. Interesting. You worked with, you know, a great guy like Magician. Yeah. And yeah. the current state of the industry is everybody's just trying to find the recipe of taking Zambia music out to the next level. Sure. To the yeah. next level. So what, what, what can we do? Mm. We have this issue of saying no because we're not embracing our sound yeah. Yeah. and seeing to it that you people, your sound is kind of to totally different, yeah. okay. completely different yeah. from what Zambians expect. True. Not really a lot of Zambians, but, you know, people say, no, only, only if we do Kalindula, like, that's when we go international. <laughs> that's when to be Zambian, yes, yeah? Yes, that's when it's going to be Zambian. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think about that? What do you have to say? <clears throat> mm. He can give his opinion first. Okay. I I honestly think the kind of music we do, we just do music because uh, how can i put it mm -hmm. anyway the type of music we do we actually i personally feel it's 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 a fusion of everything the mm -hmm. zambian feel the international feel mm -hmm. then we've got the afro vibe so mm -hmm. i feel like we've fused in pretty much everything mm -hmm. literally i think it's a combination of this is that you bring together you make one sound so i wouldn't really say we're not um choosing in the zambian type of sound no. you know back then you'd have the dunka type of beats yeah. that was the zambian type then back then back back then there was kalindula the pk mm -hmm. and stuff then before after them there were the danis mc Wabino. so i just feel like you have to embrace change as time goes on mm -hmm. yeah i get it uh, and so yeah like you said you have to embrace change even if some people might actually think you're going away from being authentic and being Zambian, but at the end of the day, as an artist, you need to be creative. Sure. So, and I feel like from the music aspect, you definitely just need to be relatable, because as you, you know, brainstorm ideas, what you need to create, music at the end of the day carries us through a lot of things. Sure. You know, so we definitely need to put if it's putting out issues that we we go through. You yeah. know, people, other people relate. Because, you know, you might listen to a song mm -hmm. and there's a particular line you love and it's because of that line yeah. you love a song and it will be on repeat, you know. Sure. So it's definitely things that you go through uh, appreciating creativity at the end of the day. Mm, nice. so, yeah. Speaking about um, appreciating creativity and people recognizing you. So do, when, when you go out there, eh, let's say for instance, the way you opened up for Fireball, yeah. Yeah. have you gained new recognition from that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that when people I... that recognize you from the stage. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember how I brought you guys out? Yeah. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> um, something in the lines of uh, it's uh, the new duo in Lusaka. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Steel. You're something. You're something. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, oh, Edna. I, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, we can't run away from the fact that obviously you get the pressure from the ladies, <laughs> this and that. Well. How do you manage to avoid that? Or maybe you don't avoid. Let me know that. Uh. <laughs> How do you cope up with that? Uh, sticking to the script, I would say. Which is? 
uh, music. You know? <laughs> if you, Is it the same? <laughs> <laughs> there is so much you can do to relate uh, with fans. Mm -hmm. You know, they're family at the end of the day and they appreciate the work. Mm -hmm. So there's only so much we can do to relate with them mm -hmm. and stick to the script. Nice. What is something you've learned about him before you met in 2014, eh? So what is it that you know now you didn't know in 2014 about him? About him? <sighs> okay, the thing is, uh, his... his <laughs> 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 that I know now that I didn't know then? Yes. Honestly, nothing. He's, he, he's, so you haven't changed from 2014? No, 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 no. He's, oh, he's, oh, okay. he's definitely stayed true to self. So yeah. it's, some, it's something I appreciate about him. So, yeah. Oh, nice. And the other thing, I should just put it out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> him and I share the same background story. How we're brought up totally yeah. the same. For real? Yeah. Why, why not share the background story with us? So we share common things like he was raised by a single mom, regardless of his dad being alive. Yeah. It's the same thing with me. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine being raised by a mother, then you've got a little sister here, also has a little sister. Mm. He's the firstborn, I'm the firstborn. <laughs> mm. Went to the same school. What yeah. school so, was that? I forgot to ask. Uh, that was the university we're at together yeah. or Cyprus, Cyprus, Cyprus International Cyprus. University? Wait, Cyprus, Cyprus, Cyprus. 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 Oh, yeah. snap. You know what's in my head right now? Uh. Mona. Oh, oh. So it's like everybody goes there, and I'm expecting you now. So oh, like okay, okay, so okay. Yeah. Like, wait, we okay. went, we went to Cyprus International University, yeah. and then we actually met in Dubai when mm. we were connecting flights. Yeah, that's how we became buddies. So did you share your stories then upon meeting? No, or no. the studio. No, it was during school actually. Yeah, oh. during school, not 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 through studio. I mean, he like he said he was you know opening up for artists in school. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he'll maybe, as we chill, he'll come to my room, you know, tell me what he's written, whatnot. Even the time he would ask to say, why don't you put something on it? I was still not comfortable with doing music like that. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. that's how we would know, we got to know about each other. You know, it's like, how's your mom? Oh, she good. Oh, okay. And your dad? Yeah. Ah, nah, they, they ain't today. Oh, oh okay, okay, cool. So like, I asked this boy about his dad, he's like, <laughs> Gaya. <"Gaya." laughs> dad, I'm watching that kind of point. I'm like, oh. Same situation with me. Oh. Yeah. And it's not like I have beef with my dad, no. Mm. He's doing his thing. He's got he's got a whole family. Obviously they're part of me, but obviously um he wasn't there. Mm. Like me growing up and stuff. That's the more reason why I love my women. Ah. Yeah. I so love my women. Has yeah. that had like an impact on the type of music you create? Yeah. Yeah. The Greatly. Movie. You should listen to the journey, the EP. Mm -hmm. All the songs have got something to do with matters of the heart. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. What would you tell someone who's got a, like, or not not someone, but an absent father, someone who knows they've got a sign out there, but they're not doing anything about it to reach out? Well, uh. I'll be honest with you, yeah. I just feel like God has created us differently. True. What may move me might not move me. Yeah. So there are people out there who feel it's a responsibility of a woman to take care of a child. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this with the utmost respect for anybody that actually feels that way. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking down on them. It's just, um, it's something that I want to change. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not totally the responsibility of a woman to raise a child. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean because you're a breadwinner, you're out there looking for money. You can't be an active parent in your mm -hmm. child's life. Most kids out there are actually damaged, or let me not say damaged, but act a certain way that people may perceive not to be normal because they're not getting love from both parents. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's touching as a kid. <coughs> your friend that's being taken care of, by both parents come to you and tell, oh, my mom and dad did this. The other kid can't relate because only the mom is active in their life. Mm. So this, I feel like, affects a lot of kids' upbringing because yeah. they're lacking that fatherly love. Mm. Now you just have to be daddy's little boy or daddy's little girl, mm. but you're lacking that aspect. I'm not saying it affected me. I guess my mom did what she had to do because, nah. trust me, I'm, I'm not even saying I don't need my dad or anything, obviously. He's someone that I'll forever respect in that door, obviously. I'm, I'm here because of him. Mm. So I never hold any grudge, any ill emotions or anything, but mm. I just feel like 
my mom did an amazing job with me. Yeah. yeah. Is it the same for you? Uh, Would well. You have been like a different person if you had those surgeries. Yeah. I uh, I think I would have. In as much as like he says our mothers pulled through, you know, to try fill in the gap, but they there's an extent they can't because they're not a man. Yeah. So you find that there was no one to give you an example of what a man should be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your mom can do they say be a man and what not what not, but you'll be like, Okay, be a man how? Like who's there to lead and yeah, show me so other ways, you know, show me how to be things. strong and how to you know, to do all that. So like you I think coming back to your question saying what would you tell someone uh, whose father is absent? I feel like just make peace with yeah. the fact that he's, he hasn't been there. Because uh, I think like for me, I grew up with that void, like, why? Why weren't you there? Why weren't you that? So it never got away for me. It was just like, nah, why wasn't he present? I, I had a lot of questions. So when I finally go to talk to him, that's, that's when I was just like, ah, okay. I understand. Now I can move. I can move on. You know, it's not like we'll build a relationship. Like he said, it's utmost uh, most respect. So just, um, I respect you, you respect me. You got your family. Um, I grew up with Ma and my young sis. So yeah, we'll live our lives. There's nothing we're gonna mend, but if there are people out there who can mend it, that's good. But I feel like mending when you're an adult is quite hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. What did you guys study? I did international relations. Okay. Yeah. Information systems engineering. How do you apply that in your music, guys? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I feel like the fact that I did international relations. Mm, you 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 related to international finance. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good wow. one. <laughs> Rappers be like, I did international relations, so I. I <laughs> anyway, um, I feel like um. I can't even say I apply it to my music, to be honest. Mm. But it helps me write. Ah. Yeah. Ah. I'm not a fan of writing, but it actually helps me write. Mm. Yeah, the whole concert theories mm. and all that. Yeah, I feel like it helps me write a lot. Yeah, I think for me is, I mean, engineering has to do a lot with checking your projects, making sure everything works right. So like he said, yeah. yeah. This guy, man. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. Make sure and, uh, this guy work like this. Let's sleep on it. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll touch it. You know, we might wake up with a different idea. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. So it comes in. I feel like him being patient and being a perfectionist actually helps our music. Mm. Though I hate it. Because <laughs> I feel like it just consumes lots of time. When yeah, we have those moments. Great thing. Mm. Yeah, so... Anyway, I'm, I'm not hating. <laughs> I'm not hating in you. I appreciate it, but. Okay, guys, can, can we play a game? Okay. What's the. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to give you two um, questions. Okay. Yeah. Two questions. Okay. 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 One must go, eh? One must go. Uh-huh. Start with him. Start with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Shadaya Salma. Jesus. Mm. One must go together their music. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That's heavy. Got love for, for both. Mm. <laughs> one has to go. One has to go. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, that, that's a that's tough easy. one. That's easy. Come on. Shadaya really, Salma. One must go. Got my love for Shadaya, but she has to go. <laughs> Why? What? Ah, you asked me and I, I delivered. <laughs> that's how it feels. That's how it feels. That's, that's, that's how I feel. That's how, that's how it feels. That's how I feel. Okay. Oh, man. Um, Zavlin Bombshow. Ooh. Huh? Zavlin Bombshow. Um... Mm. <laughs> I think Zavin should go. Huh? Why? On my grounds? No, nah, I just feel like <laughs> I feel like Bombshell is top. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Will's FJ one must go. Will's FJ. Why me though? That's close I, to. I, 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 I you were supposed to ask yeah. this question. To no, my no, no, no. Look. She go. asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> I'll live. No. <laughs> me and my cousin don't have to go. Let me tell you this. Just leave the scene. There's 
That's fam. I can't pick. What do you think you can pick? Nah, I'll be in the middle. Ah. <laughs> I can't pick. Listen, Wills is amazing. Mm. I feel like Wills is not even on the level that he's supposed to be. Mm. He's very, very underappreciated in Zambia. Mm. FJ, amazing. Mm. He's not yet at the level he's supposed to be at mm. in King Zambia. Brian so, Lee. bruh. Have I'm, you seen his? And, um, <laughs> I, I wish, if only Don Jesse could hear this. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen the EP? I've heard all the songs. You've heard all the songs? Yeah. What do you think? Was that a great move? Um, I haven't. haven't First of all, yeah, one, thing, on one on thing I should tell you is there's a reason he's done that. Mm. Whether people think it's a bad idea mm. or not, everyone is driven or motivated Is he already by talking something. to John Jazz? Then you say, oh no. <laughs> Vika so Chitika, so listen, Vika Chitika, I'm going come back. <laughs> you, get what, you get what I mean? So, sure. I feel yeah, I like that. everything you do in life, if you're True. content with it, you're content with it. True. Yeah, okay. so we I feel, I feel like... Forgotten. Forgotten. Nobody is forgotten. going. No. Going one, where? One has to go. One has to go, Golden. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. One has to go. Sheesh. Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll do picky picky na picky dog. Mm. So, this is Wheels, this is FJ. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> picky picky na picky dog. <laughs> na kasala na picky dog. One, two, three, four, four five, five, eleven, twelve. twelve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. I Who's didn't mean to do it. Who's that? FJ, right? That was FJ? Hey, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> I did my part. Good twist, good I twist. I did my part. Twist, good twist. Okay, let's see. We'll know when we play you back. Wow. Let's Eddie, you actually back. did that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to find you. My heart's broken. I'm to Look, he's emotional now. Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can tell. <laughs> Damn. I can tell. I need a DJ. Someone that plays your music. Okay. And some guy that will... Why are you giving him easy music. things? Man. I know, right? No. Two easy breezo. One must go. Forever. Forever. Huh? Tweezy, Brizo. Twe Tweezy. As in DJ Tweezy. DJ Tweezy, Brizo, one must go. Brizo is an, uh, Brizo the artist. Yes. If I said one can, one plays your music, the other one can actually take your music to you. <laughs> you have to. Tweezy. Oh, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. <laughs> hey, two for two, man. Two for two. <laughs> I know oh, you got good. the easy one, eh? Yeah. Oh, I got the easy yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, thank you, thank so, you, thank you. You literally next, gave right? me two people that have been closest I to me. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> and now it's going to be, that was a move. <laughs> that was the, what, that move that was, you played, bro. I see what you're doing. No, what, I know, I know. I understand. Now. At least I, I did what I had to <laughs> you do. You did, did what you had to do, eh? Yeah. So yeah. what's next from you guys? What should we expect? Uh, an album. Yeah, and I'll be this album, more, eh? more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> International features. Yeah, ready. Um, I I don't think we'll have any international features, but we we'll, we'll definitely have like definitely some, have some, some, some top features. guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some top dogs in the game. Nice. Yeah. So the EP, why we didn't want to have an EP with features is mm -hmm. we didn't want a big guy carrying our name. Oh. You get what I mean? Ooh. Like, so you do a song, let's say with. A big artist, <coughs> mm -hmm. and they say, "Oh, Bajamana cha nyimbo na waso suna so." On our first, exactly on our first project. Mm. So we just said, you know what? Whatever happens, at least this will be a, an introduction mm. of Deja to the people. The genesis. Mm. The genesis, yeah. Nice. Let's go in numbers, guys. Your social media handles, please. Deja um, Music ZM. So it's Deja Music ZM. On all platforms. All platforms, yeah. yeah. Okay. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. What else? Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Oh, okay. The same. Yeah. And Spotify. Spotify. It's the same. Same. Apple Music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. All the best. Boom guys. play. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm still so much so you mad at you. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whenever you go global, please remember where it all started from. On this no, couch, remember. Eh? Remember. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to come back on this couch. Yeah, bless this couch. All right. Again. Thanks yeah, everybody who's been watching. Please check out their music. Guys, what you make sure you listen. You're listening to this music with your girl. Otherwise, it's your. I wasn't there. But please remember Neither to were share. we. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
Let's go. Let's go.